half moon. It's almost like a uh, an unaided leg throw. Get your arms out wide, head back, and then you're moving in the shape of a half moon. Keep your legs straight as much as you can. The body will twist a little bit, but make sure your abs are tight. You can exhale on the way up. It'll help you tighten your abs a little bit. And then inhale on the way down. Try to be as stable as you possibly can. Try not to frail all over the place. Tricep press. Get your body up. Make sure your stomach is flat in a flat position. Put one leg up. If you're doing 10, you do 5 with this leg. 5 with this leg, you're doing 20, 10, and 10. Split it up. But you take one leg up and then you press. As you go down, you'll want to bend in, resist. Keep your abs tight. Just press. Abs tight. Try to keep the hips up at the same time. You'll feel it in your leg. You can switch legs when you need to. It's a press. Okay, slow lunge twist with a high knee. You're taking a high knee step. See how my hands are here? You hold your hand in this position the entire time. Keep your back straight. You lunge. You twist towards the leg that is on the ground. And then you come back. Come back up in a high knee position. It'll work your core. Keep your abs tight. It's balance. So you'll step. You'll twist. Turn back, come back up again. Step, twist, come up. Step, twist, turn back, and come up. Uh, crunches. You want to have your foot in like a seated position. Keep your toes dorsiflex. Always practice dorsiflexing your toes for running. And then you're crunching. You don't have to go all the way up, but make sure whatever you're doing, you're not sticking your neck out. Keep your neck level the entire time. Some people can go like this. Don't worry about speed, worry about efficiency. So you're crunching from here. You don't have to come up like that. It's not how you do a crunch. High knees with extension. You're not moving on these, you're working on your glutes, you're working on your abs, and you're working on your ad and adductors. So, in a standing position, you get your foot up, hold it there, extend, and then bring it back, bring it back down, and then bring it up. If you want to be really advanced, you hold it up the entire time, and just extend, and bring it back. Heel walk. What you want to do with a heel walk is you're on your heel the entire time, even at the break. You walk, keep your legs straight, keep your abs tight. Everything you do, you're working on swinging the arms, keeping the legs straight, getting, getting the abs tight. And what this will do is it'll help work on those shin splints that people have. Strengthen those muscles a little bit and keep a little injury from happening. Ankle flips, just getting you ready for the uh, the explosive motion and with your ankles and your and your your calf muscles. Uh, what you want to do is it's almost like you're going full toe, bouncing from foot to foot, just warming up. When you start going faster, basically just a little skip from toe to toe. One, two, three drill. Um, what it is, is you're moving your feet nice and easy, and then on the third step, you're trying to bring the foot back, and you're trying to move slowly in place. So it's like a high knee butt kick at the same time. What you do is it's a full cycle. One, two, three.
Uh, straight leg shuffle. Some people know them as Frankenstein run. Keep your legs straight. And what you're doing is it's abs, also working the arm action. In this case, you're going to have your arms kind of straight just to elongate the legs and the arms at the same time. Um, it's a speed drill. Once you start, you'll start picking up speed on every step if you're hitting your feet right underneath your hips. If your feet come underneath your hips, it'll shoot you forward. That's a good thing. You want that while you're running. It looks like this. Backwards run with heel extension. Uh, it's the same as when you're doing a back shuffle. The only problem is, or difference is, you want to get the heel up to hit your butt and kick back. The stronger your hamstring, the higher you'll be able to get your, your heel. So what you should do is get down in a regular position, and then you need to push off strong with your quad so you can get a good extension. It should look like this. Skipping A's, uh, what you want to do is get the knee up to 90, over exaggerate knee drive, and then you bring the leg back down. It should look like this as you're skipping. Try to work on getting the leg right underneath your hips, especially if you're a jumper and a hurdler. Leg All right, skipping B's. With skipping B's, you're not taking it up and down, you're getting an extension like you are running. You want that leg to come right underneath your body so that way it shoots your body forward. So with the skipping B, same thing, get the knee up, extend. Dynamic form, you have standing cycles. So what you're doing is you're working on the leg cycle. You're working on the running action. You're standing in place, getting the knee up, bringing it down. Work on the arm action while you're doing this. You're going to feel it in your glutes this entire time. Then you have a lunge pulse. Feet a little bit apart. You'll do it for each leg, but for lunge pulse, feet a little bit apart, and then you're just pulsing. A little bit of, little bit of dip in the leg. Try to keep the weight mainly on that front leg. Your back leg should be for balance. So everything's up straight, you're dipping down. You should really feel it in your glute. Um, the other one is the walking cycle. You're just walking through the cycle. You're not going really far. Work on keeping the arms straight, head forward, head straight. Work on cycle. Feel it in your ass. Strengthening the quad, have the part strengthening the glute, strengthening the hamstring. 